Hi, I guess why I'm waiting for the Monty Hall uh, video to finish, um, I'll talk a little bit about independence because that's what you're going to look at today, or today being Tuesday. Um, the problem with independence is most people, hmm, I don't really know what that means, most people, um, independence is nice, but most of them get confused between independence and mutual exclusive. So don't forget if you go back to where we were chapters ago um, if I could just draw a box here um, here are two events A and B that are mutually exclusive so mutually exclusive means the two events don't intersect each other that's the definition of mutually exclusive um, independence is, is different um, two events are independent if one event doesn't affect the other events probability of occurrence so um, for example here's a if probability of a is still like if, if probability of a given I know event B has occurred if probability of a is still probability of a given B has occurred I must have independence in other words B is not affecting A's probability or I could look the other way around so one nice way to check independence is one event doesn't affect the other events probability of occurrence so two coin flips um, the first one doesn't affect the other you know if I get ahead the probability the next one ahead isn't more likely just because I already got ahead so I mean thinking about flipping coins is independent events one flip doesn't affect the probability of the of the next event happening the head or the tail so the thing with independence too is you you can't draw a nice picture of independence I mean Mutually exclusive, I can see here very easy. I can see in this picture uh, A and B are mutually exclusive. But you can't tell by a picture if A and B are independent. You have to either, to show independence, you have to go back and show that conditioning doesn't affect A's probability or conditioning doesn't affect B's probability. Or sometimes the nicest way is to show probability A and B is just the product. In other words, I don't need to condition anymore um, to get their intersection is just the product of A and B but this is only true if A and B are independent just don't start multiplying probabilities in general you can only do it if you have independence so I think the ones I explained up there are pretty clear I mean things like this with the die it, it's hard to tell um, let me see like this one a fair die is ruled twice let A be the event that the sum of the outcomes is odd and B be the event that this that that it lands on two on the first toss so let's just say this is a first toss landing on two is all these numbers right here right so landing on two there's six outcomes and let a denote the event that the sum of the outcomes is odd so given two the probability of odd is this one this one and this one so it looks like then the probability of um, getting an odd sum given it lands on a two first so we reduce the sample space down to these six and there's only three so probability of a given b is one half so what was the probability let's go back first what was the probability of a occurring the sum of the outcomes is odd well when you roll to die the sum of the outcomes being odd is one half so conditioning on B did not change the probability A so we say A and B are independent events um, yeah I guess I just said yeah ver I mean there's that's what I mean by verify you have to go through and show um, this holds or this holds or this holds one of those and sometimes it just depends on what the way I see the problem at the time um, down here yeah I think this one you know here's probability of a is 0.3 and probability of a is point, or b is 0.4 and so the probability a times b is that product but notice inside the probability is 0.12 so by definition now I'm using the definition up here um, I've shown that I have independence again. So again, here's a picture. Um, I can definitely say these two events are not mutually exclusive, but you really have to check to show independence. Okay, I think I'll leave that one there and start posting.